Now, 1 John 4 and verse 1, again, let's go back to it. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try or test the spirits whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Now, what have we learned so far? We've learned so far that there are two deep, not one, but two deeply religious spirit beings out there. God and Satan. The good one, the dark one. The good side, the dark side. And we also learn that there are many false prophets that promote the dark side. Where do you find them at? The false prophets. You can find them at church. Where do you think you find them at? They're, 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 they're about worshiping God, but they're just teaching you to worship God the wrong way. Is, is, that's where you find the false prophets at. Uh, in church, of course. Now, in order to test the spirits, you've got to fully realize what you're up against. Okay, and most people do not. I had a friend one time that said, he's, he, we were working together, and he said, you know, I believe all religion and all churches are good. Boy, was he deceived. He was under the illusion that there was only one deeply religious being in the world. He did not know. No, 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 no. There's not just one deeply religious being. There are two deeply religious spirit beings in the world. And the one, the satanic side, tries to get you to worship God, but he just wants you to worship him the wrong way. Okay, let's take a look at it. 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no marvel, in other words, this shouldn't surprise us that there are people out there like this. And the reason is, verse 14, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Again, if Satan ever appears at your bedside, he will appear to you as an angel of light. You're going to swear up and down. I know you shouldn't do that. Okay. All right. But, but you're going to say that was of God. I know it was of God because it, it was an angel glowing at my bedside. I know that. That's what you're going to say. Satan himself, look at it again. Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. And like I said, you've got to know what you're up against here. This is, not, this is not for the immature Christian. This is for Christians who are only serious about a relationship with God. In other words, how to test the spirits to see whether they are of God or not. If you're a babe, you may, might want to cut this program off, a babe in Christ, because it's going to go over your head, in other words. All right, let's continue on. Verse 15, therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed. You mean Satan has ministers? Well, yeah, that's what it says. Okay, it is no great thing if his ministers be, also be transformed into ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. How do they come across? as ministers of righteousness. They talk about God. They want you to worship God. They just want you to worship him the wrong way. Now you wonder how people overlook this. I, I really do. How do people look at the scripture and don't get it? That Satan and his ministers are deeply religious. I want you to worship God. I just want you to worship him the wrong way. Now let's take a look at 